Hello my lords and welcome to the Beyond Sana's channel, my name is Shanks and today we are going to take a look into the Mortal Faction which is the last remaining faction in the Legends of the Third Age mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 1.06. Let's go on solo play, skirmish, this time the Mortal Faction with the color red of course against the Heart Army on the beautiful map Falls of Eisen 2. Because that's what we do. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy your stay, if you do, please don't forget to leave a like on this video and also subscribe for more content like this in the future. Okay, so we have two Orc Battalions to start with and also we have the same buildings pretty much. We're gonna start of course with the Orc Pits and the Golem. Hold on a second, we have no Golem in this one but we have a bunch of different heroes and I'm excited because we're gonna take a look into every single one of them. Okay, but it's kinda unfortunate that Mordor now has no starting heroes unlike Gondor or Rohan. Uh, because Mordor normally had the Golem for 150 resources, yes he was not very strong but he was very fast and you could use him to grab the settlements, you could use him to actually you know, harass the enemy soldiers or peasants or kill the enemy Lamer Mill workers with him, so Golem was quite useful especially early on. Orcs are still for free but look at this ladies and gentlemen, we have Orc Archers, we already know but we have also the Mordor uh, Moranon Orcs. I believe these are similar to the Black Orcs from the BFME to the Rise of the Witch King. We have also the chance to buy not only Fire, but also Orc Power Upgrade for 1000, boost Orc drastically for a short time, and Banner, but also again you are able to improve your building, uh, slash you are able to level up your buildings by paying prices. Okay, we have three Orcs now, let's use them to creep the Vork layer. And uh, powerpoint wise we have the Tainted Land which gives you less armor now, it used to give 50, now only 30. And uh, also the Eye of Sauron is nerfed big time. So the leadership, oh that's a goblin layer, not, okay that's Forts of Eisen 2 maybe that's why. Okay let's see if we can do that and handle handle the situation, I can't even talk, sorry for this one. Slaughterhouse, Slaughterhouse of course. And yeah let's use the Eye of Sauron to kill the layer a bit faster. And also you don't want to forget to build some extra workers on each lumber mill you're building just to increase the um, value of the Lamer Mills, this way you can collect the money a bit faster. Okay, that was actually quite easy to creep the Goblin Lair, not gonna lie, okay. And we can now move to the other one, because I'm assuming if this is a Goblin Lair, this has to be a Goblin Lair as well. Do not cash loot guys, cash looting is bad in every RTS game, you know, and also in BFME 1 if you want to improve your gameplay you need to- Oh, we are against Lorien and he already has a hero, who is this? Uh, uh, Celeborn, okay. This is the husband of Galadriel by the way and if we hurt him I'm afraid that the Elven Queen herself might come out to revenge. And do we have a cheap hero? Uh, no, 3300 for Mouth of Sauron, we have the Nazgus for 1600 each, then we have also the Gothmog, I think he's the cheapest hero. Uh, Felbis for 5000 just like in BFME 1, normal. And the Witch King for 5500 but he's gonna come out with level 1. Remember in the normal BFME 1 uh, every hero is coming out with level, uh, you know, Nazgûl and also the Witch King are coming out with level 10. But I believe this way you have a bit more abilities, because let's be real, uh, Nazgûl and also the Witch King, they have pretty much no abilities besides the leadership from Witch King and the Screech from the Nazgûl and that's pretty much it. So there is no reason of you trying to level them up and I think that's gonna be a bit more interesting. We need to build some towers though, because you know how I'm playing this mod, I wanna make sure, oh, let's, maybe we can kill him though. I wanna make sure, what is he doing? Oh, he's doing some shenanigans. Uh, I wanna make sure we're gonna recruit all the heroes first before we're gonna take a look into the, uh, say it, you know, um, units. For example, I wanna definitely see those Moranon orcs because they are one of the, one of the few units which are new to this mod, especially for Mordor. Maybe there are also other, you know, units from the Troll Cage or Momo Kilpan or Haradrim Palace and we're gonna take a look into every single one of them as well. Orcs, yeah, for free, but you can see yourself, this guy, I mean, there is a reason, guys, why right? this is the husband of Galadriel, who is one of the most powerful beings in Middle-earth. Okay, uh, you know, luckily, Orcs for us are for free, that means we don't need to pay the money for improving the building, we're gonna level, up, we'll level it up a bit faster, a bit slower, but it's not gonna cost us anything else but time. And uh, first hero, let's recruit a Nazgul first, okay? Because um, I've seen this when I was playing Isengard against Mordor, uh, they are getting mounted and they are actually quite strong. And we can also recruit Gothmog. 
I mean, it doesn't really matter what we recruit first, because we're gonna recruit them all together anyway. In total, we have three, um, three, six, seven heroes with uh, Mordor, which is quite impressive. And this guy, he doesn't wanna die. Okay, evil presence, negative effect to nearby enemy troops. They lose damage and armor. Of course, this doesn't affect the heroes. Uh, in this case, Celeborn is gonna be as strong as he is when the Nazgul is not around. And in a situation like this, you want to make sure that the Nazgul is the one who's getting the last hit. Let's demolish the tower. Oh, wait a second, he's cheating. I think he's gonna kill us. Okay. Oh, he has also splash damage, you see. He's able to hit multiple units at the same time. Maybe Gothmog can also assist. Oh, nice. We got four levels from this, guys. Four levels. Uh, for the Morgul Blade, we need to be level six. Negative effect on a targeted hero, he's gonna lose armor, speed and damage, that's a nice debuff on an enemy hero, and Screech with level 8, we already know what Screech is, it's gonna be a scary effect on the enemy units, okay. We lost the mill, but it's a lumber mill, that's fine, but it's Gothmog when we need him, okay Gothmog, he's also able to get mounted by the way, that's nice, and I wanna get this hero next, because we already have a Nazgul, and they are pretty similar to each other. Oh, we have to deal with that. We need to make some more towers for sure. Luckily, we have almost three power points collected. We already know what it means. Oh, wait a second. I want to get Scavenger. I Scavenger is really nice against AI, guys. When you are playing against computer, make sure to pick Scavenger whenever you have the chance. Because you will end up killing thousands and thousands of units. And you will get the constant value of this ability, which only costs you two power points here. Unlike a normal BFME one, which would cost you cost you four power points instead. Okay, but also I want to make sure to pick up the land, and you are also able to summon Umbar Corsairs, which is nice because evil factions normally they have only the Balrog summon and that's it. I like the fact that also evil factions now have the chance to summon stuff like the good factions Gondor or Rohan, for example. Okay, I mean we can send the orcs forwards; they won't be dealing too much damage, but. You know, whenever you lose orcs with Mordor, you also will gain power points passively, which is very nice. Oh, we are cash looting when I'm explaining too much. So we have enough money now for the Mouth of Sauron. And the great thing is, we have a bunch of uh, mounted heroes now. We have uh, Gothmog on the Warg. Uh, then we have Nazgûs. And also Mouth of Sauron will be, of course, mounted on his Black Horse. That means we have a bunch of different options. And we are gonna be quite mobile. You see plus 10, but be careful. This Gothmog uh, doesn't feel very strong. Spawn Orcs, okay, he's... And the, the thing is, uh, when the heroes are able to summon stuff, the summons are gonna be permanent. Okay, when you summon any units from the spellbook, they are gonna be there only for a short amount of time. What's that? What's happening here? Um, armor bonus to nearby structures, plus 20% armor, armor and production penalty to nearby enemy structures, minus 25%. Oh, that's nice. It's, it's nice. It's pretty unique. And we have now four mounted heroes. And you can see they are all coming out mounted on the field as well. And when the Mouth of Sauron is around, uh, these buildings are going to be 20% tankier, which is quite nice. Not only when it comes to defend the buildings, but also when it comes to destroy the enemy buildings, uh, in which you will be making the enemy buildings weaker, slash it's going to be much, much easier for you to take them down. Level 5, um, he has also some abilities, Dark Magic with level 2, Strikes uh, Foes with Dark Lightning. I believe this is like an evil version of the Easter Light from Gandalf, of course, not as strong as powerful. Then you have also the Curse Crown, Curse Crown to inflict damage to enemies. And last but not least, Spawn Oryx, Spawn Oryx and Trolls from the ground. This guy has also spawned Oryx, but I believe he will be only able to spawn Oryx. Yeah, definitely, he won't be able to spawn Trolls. And unlucky, uh, unfortunately, these uh, archers are outranging our towers almost. We lost also every single mill, but again, that's fine because we have um, Scavenger. That means we get money all the time. And look at this, you have sp Scavenger, you have Industry, you have Devastation, you have so many tools to boost your money, which is great. And I like that. Four mounted heroes, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's reclaim this. And I also li uh, like the change of the slaughterhouses being only for 200 now. We can group all the heroes together. Oh, okay, we are fine. Oh, there is a hero, we can kill him actually. Make sure that this guy is not tanking this guy because he is gonna die. I believe he is very squishy. Yeah, definitely. He has only 1500 health with level 3. This guy has to. This is also very squishy actually. 
but uh, by far not as squishy as Kofmog, and this guy is a bit tankier, but not very tanky as well. Okay, I want to get the Witch King first before the normal Fell Beast, because I want to see if he's mounted on his Fell Beast or he's running. Look how fast he is, ladies and gentlemen, it's crazy. Four against one. Now he knows, he accepts that he can't run away, he's gonna... Oh, oh. He's so... <laughs> he's so skinny, you know? Please die. Oh, I was committing and I will be losing my golf mug for this reason, right? Yeah, I lost him. But it is how it is. Look at this damage from these archers. That's crazy damage. Let's um, get this Lammer Meal. Is this Warclear still there? I don't think so. No. But there is another settlement. That's, that's interesting. Okay, we have enough money now for the Witch King and also enough money to revive our Gothmog. This Orc Pit is level 2 now, that means we will get the chance to take a look into the Moranon Orcs. I want to see how strong they actually are. Um, that's, that is also an outpost here, which, uh, that's a really interesting layout. Like, the Goblin layer is going to make it a bit easier for every single faction to creep, because let's be real, in compared to uh, the Vork layer, Goblin layer is way easier to creep. It's going to be only... It's even possible with only one Hobbit. Hobbit can creep the Goblin Lair all alone. And, uh, yeah, it's not gonna take him too much time either, you know? Okay, let's defend. Look at this damage from this uh, Lorien uh, Warriors. That's crazy. And uh, Witch King is almost out. We have also three power points collected. Let's take a look into the summon Corsairs. We can summon them right here, maybe. And give them also Tainted Land. And Eye of Sauron to make them as strong as we possibly can. Okay. We were able to deal with that. We can also kill the archers now, right after. He's level 4. And... Oh, oh, that's annoying. Okay. Witch King is on foot, by the way. But he is also not very strong, very tanky. I was expecting expecting him to be a bit more tankier, but it's okay. Eye of Sauron is still active. We will be taking down this outpost very soon. Let's build a Lamy Mill there. And we need to go back. Oh, these are our Corsairs, right? Yeah, okay. Which King does he have leadership? Um, Black Brief. 40% of the damage taken is thrown back at the attacker. Okay, that's nice. It's like a Torn Mill from League of Legends, if you know what I'm saying. And you have also leadership. With, that's a great leadership. 50% damage, 25% armor. Considering the fact that the leadership is overall nerfed in this mod. You have Screech with level 2. Uh, true Form. Uh, left click to turn into a Raid. Okay? Significant armor bonus and knockback resistance. And a poison blade attack. Morgul sorcery, unleash a blast of evil sorcery. And then you have also the Hour of the Witch King, create a mighty shock wave, powerful against heroes. But unfortunately he can't get mounted, unlike the other heroes we have, that means he's gonna be extremely slow. These ladies and gentlemen are the Moranon Orc Horde, they are looking like this, as you can see. Pretty similar, almost identical to the Black Oryx we already know from BFME 2, the Rise of the Witch King. And they have also the Blood Thirsty, which is a bit different. You can kill the friendly units with that and level them up this way. They have also enough money now for the Nazgul. And you can also get mounted now, Gothmog. And now we have, you know, you see that. Mordor with he five heroes, guys, just like that. I like that. I like that. Hold on a second. Okay, he's peeling back. He knows he has no chance. Against the power of Mordor, there can be no victory. Okay, level 5, Gothmark. Uh, level... But he can't use it when he's mounted. Must be unmounted to use his ability, okay? Feels if command points limit is reached. Once again, the summons are that uh, permanent from this unit. I will show you guys what I mean. Leadership also. That's uh, range. 25% more range for archers. That's nice. You see? They are summoning like that. And this pikeman... Mordor, Pikeman, Horde, they are also permanent, which is nice. And now we can keep them in the outpost here. Wait a second, are we also... No, we are not able to get... That's interesting, that's very interesting. We are not able to... Uh, see it. Recruit Pikemen from the Orc Pit, though. But, um, yeah, let's destroy one of the slaughterhouses, let's make a tower here. No, Mordor has no tower, by the way, unlike Isengard, uh, Gondor, Rohan even. Rohan has not a tower now. Furnaces when it comes to build at the outpost because they are tankier. 2400 against. Uh, yeah, but they are level 2 now. They have only 1500 normally with level 1. Let's build the Haradrim in Paris now. Oh, that is Faramir. No, that's not Faramir. That's Haldir. Let's take him down. Pelbis. Be careful. Kill the archers first. Does he have abilities? Uh, yeah. Curse of the Raid. Uh, enemy units are gonna. Oh. 
Oh, he's gonna get it. He's he's gonna buff himself. Like 50% more damage, 75% uh, more armor. That's crazy. And 10% more movement speed too. That's a lot. Which king is popping off, by the way? He's. Uh, you see that they are damaging themselves because of the passive from the black free. So, okay, we have, we have taken him down. Let's get to the true true farm. Now he's looking like this. Yeah, I know that. You, you remember this scene, guys? In the weather top, in the first uh, movie, The Fellowship of the Ring, in which he was fighting against Frodo Baggins, and Frodo was uh, being the ring bearer, of course, and then he was able to see the Witch King in his true form. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, we have also Lancers now to face against, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, Haradrim Arches are also new. I want to get this to level 2 as soon as possible for 800. We have also enough money now for the last. Oh, we have lost a Nazgul, but that's okay, that's okay. Okay. Wake up, you scum. Well, we handle this. Oh, wait. Our black orders are actually popping off. Uh, but we are not able to give them bleeds. They are only able to get banner. And once again, Mordor is being more like a monster based faction. Uh, which means you have no chance of upgrading your units besides with banner or fire. That's it, you know? Okay. We might lose a bit here, but we can again summon these units. We have also 9 power points collected. Um, okay, that's interesting. The vestigian, we don't really need that. Uh, we also don't need that, but I think it's gonna oh, it's gonna lead to Sauron the Great, and that's why we need to take it. We have also enough money now for the Nazgul. We have lost before to revive him. Let's peel back because there are a bunch of units. That's passive, and that's gonna make your um, buildings look like look like this. Oh, there are ants. I thought only Rohan is able to summon ants, but that's definitely not true. And our Felvis is just looking around, they are not... And that's why I'm always repeating myself. Get those stances in BFME 1 as well. Make it so you can choose between hold ground stance, the defensive stance, then you have the uh, normal stance, and then the aggro... Oh, 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 Nazgul! Oh my goodness. But yes, he's level 9 now, that's nice. Also level 7, what is that? Lieutenant of the Minas Morgul. Infantry units gain experience, and then you have also the Carnage, 100% more damage, 25% more armor. Here okay, we killed the Eagle too. Level 4, level 2, that's not bad. Witch King is taking some damage, but that's okay-ish. Nazgul is recovering. Let's kill back with all the heroes beside the Fell Beast. And uh, it means like that. Let's heal up a bit. Wait for the other Nazgul. He's gonna be there almost in a second. Level 2. And we are also now to able... You are also able now to get... Venom from Orc Pit and from the Haradrim Palace. So you don't have to start with the Orc Pit if you want to get Venom, but you need, I believe you will, I don't know if you can actually upgrade this Haradrim Arches with Fire. I know Haradrim Arches from BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King, of course. Okay. Oh, there is Arvin. It's a nice matchup. Mordor against Elves, I believe that's like a El Classico matchup, good against evil. And you know me, I like these matchups the most. Okay, you peel back. Oh, what is that? Huh? Something happened there. I don't know what happened. Okay, now we can take you down, Arvin. It is also Frodo Baggins. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's build the towers again. Uh, yeah, they are not able to get fire. That's not possible. Let's buy all the upgrades. Just why not? We have enough money. We have to take down the hero. I want to see this Morgul Blade against Arvin. That is Glorfindel too. That's not Glorfindel, that's Celeborn. Or oh, that's Glorfindel, that's a different picture though. Okay, we take, we took him down. Or we, oh my goodness, please. You peel back, you peel back. You guys can fight, keep fighting now. Witch King is strong, Witch King is strong. And also this is not lasting forever. The true farm. We are also killing our own Witch King by the way. He's cheating. We need to kill the archers with the... And look how fast he is. Let's Glorfindel. Let's press S. Okay, he's healing up. Luckily for us. Okay, let's use this. Okay, now he's peeling back. What is this? I want to use this ability. Oh, it's like a lightning strike. Okay, we missed it. I also heard ants now. Oh, that's... Uh, look how many heroes they have. We have. <laughs> there are so many heroes now on the field. That's crazy. Let's peel back. Our heroes are kind of feeling a bit too squishy, in my opinion. But it's it's okay, I guess. We have 8 power points collected. Hey, you know what time it is, right? It's time for the great 
uh, Sauron, unfortunately for us, I just... <laughs> Wait a second, let's use industry. I just don't have the money yet, you know? Okay. Bitch King, you peel back, you peel back. You are quite low, guys. I don't want you to lose. I don't want to lose you because I don't have money to revive you guys. But luckily, again, we will get money every time we kill stuff. We, kill, we need to kill these units first. Is this a, a pikeman? Yeah, it's a pikeman. Be careful. Nazgul. Mounted Nazguls are so vulnerable. They are extremely squishy. And also, you don't, don't chase them. Mouth of Sauron. Okay. I'm gonna build the troll cage, but first of all, I want to make sure that we have the money for uh, seeds. For our, you know, the greatest guy in Middle Earth, and this is of course Sauron. Now we have the money. We lost Gothmog, but I won't even bother reviving him anymore because I believe. This is Haldir. Hold on a second. I want to try something. You use this. Oh, he's killing us actually. You kill him now. So let's in this combination. Okay. Okay, he's slowed down now, and the Nazgul was able to finish him off. Now he has also the Curse of Raid. Okay. So let's peel back with all the heroes. Eagles are coming. And now we have enough money for the Troll Cage. And also let's build a Slaughterhouse here. Because Slaughterhouses are giving us the food bonus. Which means our Trolls are going to be a bit cheaper. So overall let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about Mordor so far. And I'm of course not playing as normal, you know, norm as I would play normally. Because... Oh, oh my goodness oh my goodness so squishy if you don't pay attention for a single second you are doomed get there okay we have now much more damage you peel back please you are quite squishy let's use this so he doesn't die which king you can do some stuff maybe how about you kill this guy here Seborn. you peel back there is Elrond too holy guacamole Actually, we might... Oh, look at this. They are shining bright like a diamond. And you have also the attack trolls now. That's... Okay, that's new. But this costs you 2,000. Holy moly. Let's get it. I mean, we have the money. Just get it, you know? 10 power points collected. We have now enough for the volcanic strike. Okay, Sauron. We have already seen him. Uh, because he's also existing in the Isengard faction. And remember, Isengard was the Nas faction we were covering in the showcases for the Legends of the Third Age mod. Looks like you need to have vision to use this, but the good thing is you can use eye and then you can just use it like that. I don't know if this is gonna... Okay, it's enough. But it's like a small area, it means you can't... Um... Oh, we lost the witch... Oh my goodness, man, come on. Please, come on. Okay, let's, let's go all down. Can we get dismounted? No, that's not possible. With the Felbies, you have no choice but being, of course, on the Felbies. Uh, the heroes are... Okay, Frodo Baggins screaming. Our Adrian Warriors, ladies and gentlemen. Industry, use it. I mean, I need to get used to the, to the icons, you know what I'm saying? Because this is normally not how the industry is looking like. As an icon. And uh, normally, you are used to one sort of icon and then you are every time you know it's available it's gonna be used but everything is looking a bit different um we can use the corsairs here to kill this a bit faster we need money though we need money but i don't want to get to the devastation because it's gonna delay my balrog summon and i, I don't want to get to the balrog summon as soon as i possibly can you know okay let's destroy this one we need to get we have to make a lot of stuff but I would not like to play without my Witch King. I want to get Witch King on the field because Witch King has some crazy abilities. And I want to take a look into them. Okay. And Mo 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 is also very good. What is that? Curse the ground. Oh, okay. Let's, tr let's try this for a change. Can I use it on the, on the ends? Okay, I can use it on the ends. Just like a damage over time effect, I guess. And then also you can, we can use this one. Oh my goodness! Holy guacamole! <laughs> He's trying to kill my <laughs> Sauron with the <laughs> with the tree beard, you know? It's so funny. Okay, we have enough money now. And they are also very expensive as attack trolls. Because keep in mind that we have the full value of the food bonus. Without the food bonus, these guys, they would be definitely more pricey than even heroes like Nazgûls and Witch Kings. Okay, you wanna... Oh my goodness. You wanna play rough now? 
Throws fireballs. Oh, but the thing is... Okay, he's dead. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Now we are, we are the golden. Look, we are almost immune to damage now with this. That's crazy and also fast. Like in the two... Uh, the fast and the furious. But we are losing a lot. Of our heroes. Every single time. These are... The attack trolls. Um, pretty similar to the... Hey, he's chasing us down. I don't want to lose the Nazgul, uh, the Valbeast, though. Look at this guy. Please stop chasing me. I'm gonna disappear from the, your map. He knows where I am. Holy moly. Quebec. I see a mist. Oh, we have spawn orcs now. Pew. And now I'm also able to summon trolls. And once again, these units are permanent. Hey, hey, hey. Why are you peeling back? Stay here. Oh, that's a crazy range. Oh, I didn't hit him. Okay, level 5. Glorfindel. Almost full HP against almost dead Sauron level 2. He's gonna kill me. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we killed him. Holy moly. He's really close. Please, please. He is so slow though. He is so extremely slow. Okay, Witch King is on the field. That's nice. We have also a bit of units around this area. Now I wanna... Now, okay, we need to revive also this heroes. And then we wanna build a army worthy of Moro by spamming a lot of attack trolls, guys. And of course the drama trolls also. But you can see the experience bonus or the leadership bonuses you get are by far not as, as effective as they were before. But again, I think it's okay. It's a nice change. Because normally Moro doesn't have this many units as well. And uh, this insane leadership from Mordo, what we are used to, would be kind of too insane in this mod. Okay. Alright. Look, you see that power up? Um, so it's going to be a short duration for 30 seconds. You can make your Oryx deal 25% more damage, armor, and also be 25% faster. Let's try it out, maybe. I want to see the animation. Okay, that's like a red animation. And hold on a second. I wanna kill this guy. And I also wanna kill like use this one. The dark magic. Now it's like the lightning sword. And it's also dealing a lot of damage. Okay, we need to kill this Elronto. He's kinda strong. But he's level two only. He won't be able to get away from us. We are fast though. Why are you running boy? Level 10, level 8, uh, but Witch King and Sauron, I mean, Witch King and Sauron, I believe they are almost equally as slow. <laughs> I don't want to say fast because they are extremely slow heroes. We have enough money for more units. You know, so I want to make one drama troll at least. And look at this army. Uh, these are not like the normal trolls. You are only able to have trees in your hands. Unlike with the normal mountain trolls, you are able to choose between fist, rock, or tree. Or even a healing ability which is find the orc to eat wait a second we are so squishy though we are so squishy i don't get it okay hold on a second i have an idea let's you guys be group two and you guys move to from this side and you guys come from this side oh there are ants we need to kill them why don't you get mounted immediately Okay. Wanna play rough? No, it's, it's, guys, it's crazy. Dark magic has almost no cooldown too. That's insane. Okay, level 8. But again, he has also... Oh, he has the carnage with level 10. Or with level 10, right? No, level 8. But again, you need to be dismounted. That's kind of interesting. You have nothing... You can not use nothing when you are mounted, pretty much. Okay. Look at this damage though. That's crazy damage. Can I right click on it? Yes, I can right click on it. Okay, he's dead too. That's nice. In the meantime, our heroes, hopefully they're gonna make something happen. Oh, what is Witch King doing here? Why would you leave him alone? Hold on a second, I have an idea. Let's use this. Witch King, you need to be with your master. Okay, that, that deals decent amount of damage to units. Not that much to... Hey, hold on a second. You know what time it is, guys? It's time for the big boy. But in the meantime, let's not lose the small boys. 
Oh my goodness, so squishy, so squishy. Please do something. Oh yeah, I don't want to do that because you can't control heroes. But now he's level six. I want to, I want to use this. It's a range one. Pew! Nice, 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 nice. Not, not bad. Need to get some more trolls on the field, huh? Let's get one more drama troll and a bunch of extra attack trolls. And we have also now the chance to get to darkness, maybe. Uh, but uh, pick up the devastation anyway. You can also use it immediately to get money a bit faster. Level 7. And then you see what I mean, right? They are not able to automatically attack anyone. Let's use also the Corsairs. This one archer really annoys me a lot. Let's kill him first and then attack here. These heroes were able to level up, uh, heal up a bit. We are in a, in a good spot. And you know what we can do? We can now use the Eye of Sauron here uh, to summon Balrog. Because again, to summon things in this game, you need to have vision. You can't summon the Fog of War. That's not possible. Let's fly inside the jeans. And you want to make sure to use Ignite mid-air. This way he's going to be ignited the second he lands. Very important to save time and animation cancelling. And then we're going to use the pre-fire here you can also use this and once again the second you see the animation you can cancel it this one also one shot it we will be hopefully able to destroy almost the entire base here and also this outpost is gonna be taken down slowly slowly but surely look how many heroes we have right now you see they are not even fitting in the screen anymore <laughs> okay Balrog, 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 Balrog. wait a second um Can we do it? That's the last remaining building, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, we got it, I guess. I think that's it. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, he was rebuilding it, man. Holy moly. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so let's build some uh, Mumma kill pants here. Just why not? I want to order this one. I want to see the differences in those buildings too, if I can, of course. Oh, there are some units. Oh, he killed actually all our trolls. I cannot believe it. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got you. I will I will come back now. Actually, all I need to do really is to send these units downside. Okay. Let's get this. And let's go up. I'm actually curious if he's also... E oh, wait a second. Okay. We are also able to summon a Balrog. So with the Balrog from Sauron, once he's level 10... And the Balrog from your spellbook, you are with more able eventually to control two Balrogs at the same time. Mumu kill pan is the same. And also the Siege Wargs is the same. Nothing has changed. But uh, we have a respectable army now. That's great. Let's see the power of this Mordor troll, shall we? I mean, it seems a bit harder than... In, you know, it's not hard actually. But you, you saw how I was playing it. I was not getting any units on the field. Most of the time I was trying to save for heroes instead. This was forcing me into a defensive playstyle. And this why the opponent was able to get to full map control. And we are slowly but surely getting it back. So we are in a good spot. Trust me on that one. We have almost the full map control. Um, I'm actually curious. Give me a second. Can I... No, it's not possible. Can I use it against the tower? I think it, I should be able to, right? No? Something is uh, kind of interesting here. I want to see if this is dealing damage to the buildings. The answer is yeah, but not that much. And also only to the tower, it seems. But not too much to the wall. Hold on a second. Get into Super Saiyajin mod. There we go. Nice. We escaped this barely. Let's peel back to the base though. Let's build a slaughterhouse here. And if they want to play rough, if they want to fight us, I'm down. Okay, so, what's the plan? Where is, Mo where is Mouth of Sauron? Here he is. Let's summon reinforcements. And also get dismounted. And also summon reinforcements with this guy. And all of a sudden we have a big army. You see that? Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Just like that. We have almost map. We have pretty much map control. That's nice. Um, and then we can also... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. You wanna... You wanna I wanna see the damage. Look at this damage, though. I mean, he's also very expensive here, by the way. So please keep that in mind. It's not like he's cheap. Elrons. 
You might be strong, but you are not as strong as you think. Curse them. Okay. You can't run away from us. That's not possible. Trust me. Okay. So there is one more hero. Hey, Frodo Baggins. The last hope of Middle Earth. Are you kidding me? Hey, we have eight power points collected. It means we have uh, reached the final stage. Our power our power level is far over 9,000, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he's summoning ants. How, how adorable is that? <laughs> Oh, you have no chance, bro. You have no power here, as Saruman would like to say to Gandalf. Which was not the truth, but this is definitely the truth, my friend. Trust me on that one. Okay. So, let's... Uh, we have a lot of trolls now. Where are the drama trolls when we need them? They are here. We need to get them all together. He was using multiple times Elvin Wood, and I can just use one and cover every single one of them. Just like that. Okay. So. Uh, let's use... Where is Darkness? This is darkness. Look now, our units are shining bright like a diamond. The Elven castle has no uh, walls, uh, no gates, by the way. So please keep that in mind, but that doesn't mean that we can't break it. We can still break it in pieces, just like that. Pew! It's gonna take a while. Actually, it's uh, really robust, you know? And also hard to attack. You see what the trolls are kind of buggy. get all the unit all the heroes inside the jeans too if the Balrog summon available anyway <laughs> so buggy if you are attacking things you are not supposed to attack or you are not supposed to kill very tanky wall but um, not tanky enough you have maximum leadership now available Glorfindel against the world against the forces of evil I don't know about that Look, the bad boy is coming. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Look at this. Alright guys, GG's well played, I think. We got this because that's the last remaining building from his castle. It was not easy, but I think Mordor is very strong. Changed a lot. New units, new leadership system, bunch of new power points. It was fun for me to showcase you guys this faction which was the last faction of Legends of the Third Age mod with that being said we are done with the showcasing of this mod let me know in the comment section down below what would you like me to cover next you wanna see more BFME 2 Rise of the Witch King commentary videos hit me up in the comment section down below join our discord if you haven't done it yet to meet thousands and thousands of BFME fans in one single place and also do me a big favor and follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I will be on vacation soon and I will hopefully be able to share a lot of pictures of me and my family. So, you know, just in case you want to see them, follow me on my Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves and as always, stay beyond standards and keep hitting like a track. See you next time. Peace.